Today, let's explore the common reasons why your shoulder might be hurting or someone you know might be experiencing shoulder pain. I'm Dr. Zicky with MedScience Simplified. I am a board certified musculoskeletal radiologist. Let's dive into the top reasons I encounter shoulder pain in clinic. The shoulder joint is an incredible mechanism, allowing us to move our arms in various directions. It's supported by a complex network of muscles and tendons and ligaments, including the famous rotator cuff. First off, we have the rotator cuff tear. This group of muscles and tendons hold your shoulder in place and lets you lift your arm in various directions. When they get injured, you may experience persistent and nagging pain. Next, we have frozen shoulder or fancier terms, adhesive capsulitis. This occurs when the capsule around your shoulder joints becomes stiff and thickened, making it challenging to move your arms. Calcific tendonitis is another issue. It happens when calcium deposits around your shoulder tendons, causing discomfort and difficulty moving your arms. Osteoarthritis is like the wear and tear of life catching up with your shoulders and the cartilage. Remember, the cartilage is like the cushion in between your bones and this wears down leading to painful movements. A labral tear occurs when the cartilage ring called the labrum, which adds additional stability to your shoulder joint tears. This can result in pain, especially during certain movements. Bursitis is when the small fluid-filled cushions in your shoulder, known as bursa, become inflamed. Think of it as a, a tiny pillow fight gone wrong in your shoulder joint. Tendonitis or inflammation of the tendons around the shoulder. Imagine an angry tendon all inflamed due to overuse of the joint or injury. Traumatic injuries like fractures, pulled muscles, or other accidents can also lead to shoulder pain. So if you've recently experienced a fall or injury, that may be the cause. If you're looking to ease your shoulder pain at home, remember the acronym RICE, R-I-C-E. Rest, ice, compression, elevation. Over-the-counter pain medications can also provide some relief but remember, it's not a cure. Good news is, most shoulder pain isn't life-threatening. However, if it's severe and persistent, don't hesitate to see a doctor. Treatment options. For shoulder pain, your doctor may recommend various treatments tailored to your specific condition and overall health. These can include medications, lifestyle changes, special exercises, formal physical therapy, or even surgery if the other options are ineffective. All right, that's a wrap of, on shoulder pain. Remember, taking care of your shoulder today can prevent a world of hurts tomorrow. Hit the subscribe button to join the MedScience Simplified community for more tips. Stay healthy and stay curious.